In previous videos, I've discussed the various ways I remove solder, um, and that is solder braid, solder suckers, and a heated solder sucker. Um, I now have this um, low melt solder um, from Chipquick, which is a really good way of removing uh, difficult components. Uh, if you've got ICs, and let's say either you have temperature sensitive components next to it or parts that are plastic then you have to rule out hot air and when you're trying to remove ICs um, it's unlikely you're going to do that with just a solder iron and this is where this stuff comes in it is a low melt um, solder which stays molten for a lot longer so essentially what you have to do is pop this onto the parts, the, the legs of the um, component you're working on, and it stays molten for a lot longer, uh, enable, enabling you to basically just pop it out without any problem. Just one advice with this is that it is very expensive. This tube contains nine pieces, um, about six inches in length, um, you, depending on what type you get, because there are a couple of different types, I think the cheapest one is about 40 something pounds for the tube. Um, and then the other ones, they're about 65 pounds. Again, it just depends which, which type you're going to go for. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think it was about 48 pounds just for this little tube. Um, so it is expensive, but... Um, it is a very good thing to have handy and if this is your hobby then you can justify spending that little amount extra onto something like that now i don't have an ic to hand um, but i thought what i would do is take off this component and all i'm going to do is pop the low melt solder onto each of these legs and essentially just pull that straight off if this was just normal solder, by the time you've removed the heat, it, it forms solid. This stuff doesn't, it stays molten for a lot longer. So what you basically have to do is pop your iron onto the legs, put the low melt solder on, and it is a bit gacky to use. It's a bit of a weird material. But what you're trying to do here is dilute the unleaded solder that's already on the board and it does actually last a long time this stuff so yes you're spending a lot on it now from just that I should I missed that one leg just pull it away as I said this stuff it stays molten for quite some time and that in, that will enable you to pull ICs off or whatever component you've got without either melting plastic parts that are around it or damaging temperature um, sensitive components.